Hello everyone, Edo here, and guess what time it is, it's time for another unboxing. I know you've been waiting for it, because so have I. So, what we're going to be unboxing today is... The Final Fantasy Trading Card Game. Um, the game came out sometime in, I guess, 2011, uh, back in Japan here, and they had a lot of different sets, but I think what they've been doing is something like Yu-Gi-Oh, where they done an omnibus set, where they call it Opus, something or other, something, something like that. Um, I have one of the starter decks, there are three of them out, uh, I think they are, and I just, I just picked up this one because of, just because I picked up this particular one. Um, it has lightning in it, well, it's the Final Fantasy trading card game starter set, Final Fantasy 13. Uh, the game that is as linear as a piece of string. Um, would you believe that I have a copy of this game on the PlayStation 3, wrapped? And I've never played it. Not only that, would you believe that I don't even have a PlayStation 3 to play it on? But that's besides the point. Um, so, what we do is we have a starter deck here. Um, let's see here. Yep, starter set. Final Fantasy 13 trading card game. Kind of lukewarm packaging, but on the back here. Final Fantasy trading card game starter set. Final Fantasy 13 contents. Reconstructed deck, 50 cards, game mat, and quick starter guide, age 13 plus. I guess, well, I guess it's the physical age, right? Anyway, let's see here, Inquir inquiries about this product, uh, Square Europe and Square NX USA, etc. Um, yeah, it was originally put out by Hobby Japan. Uh, Final Fantasy Trading Card Game dot com, and there's no, like, QVC code or... QR code, whatever that thing is that you put your phone up to and do whatever the heck it is. Um, Lightning. I mean, I, the character's not bad, but it seems that Square likes to really, really push it that she's really, really cool and we should all like her. Well, because, I mean, she's not a bad character, but, I mean, geez, she's been shown on just about everything there. Anyway, let's go ahead and get my pair of scissors here. We'll be using scissors during the entirety of this video, so please, if you'll be using scissors, use them responsibly. And, uh, okay, so I guess we'll be using scissors for this one because it doesn't look like there's any things here to actually open. Well, let's go ahead and open it. Um, standard thingy packaging, like, like Vanguard and whatnot, and some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff where it has this, the plastic thingy, thingy, thingy. And, I'm just going to toss that right there. And, well, there's tape. So, the bane of all gamers, tape. So. <clears throat> okay, so, while I put that tape on my pants there, we're going to take a look at what we got here. Uh, well, put these aside. And what do we got here? We have our, we have our play mat. Now, I remember reading the rules on the Japanese site many, many, many years ago, and I actually translated like one of the one or two of the sets personally for that. Um, what's a set of software? Lackey, or whatever it is. You can do trading card games and do whatever the heck you want. Yeah, I did that for myself just to see how it would go, and it turned out pretty well, but I got uh, distracted by other projects, so I never really uh, finished translating those other sets and whatnot. So, but uh, once again, that's beside the point, and I'm getting on track. Um, yeah, have your damage zone, and yeah, that's right, this is one of those, almost like a reverse shield game, like Duel Masters, where you put your shields out and they break them and then you get them, but instead it goes from the top of the deck here, see here, you lose the game when you're selling the card is placed in the damage zone, seven points of damage, because seven is a lucky number. Um, turn, active, draw, main, attack, and all that kind of thing, your field, break zone, your deck, you know, broken card, discard pile, deck, 50, exactly 50 cards. On the back here, um, oh, and some, oh, give you all the decks that are in here. This is the Final Fantasy VII, which is probably a popular one because it has that guy in there. Everyone likes him. I, I'm sort of indifferent to Cloud. Um, Final Fantasy X, there's Titus or Tida in the Japanese one. And then, well, here's the Final Fantasy XIII deck. Um, give some tips and tricks on how to play the deck and everything like that. I don't know, maybe the 10 deck would be good for, you know, like, you know, like, to get, uh, the, uh, YRP or whatnot. Anyway, um, that was the dual field, dual field play mat, pardon me. And then we've got our rule book, rule sheet, and it'll give you all the different things in the game here. 
Um, originally this game was uh, released in Europe. I mean, the English version anyway. And for it's been about a year, I think it is. And it was really hard to get in the U.S. because I don't think it had an official American release until just recently. There's only one distributor in the U.S., I guess. One exclusive distributor, pardon me. And um, that's why it can be kind of hard to get, I guess. Um, I'm running on some secondhand information. I believe, uh, the uh, proprietor of Neverland Games, Tony, down there, which I bought the starter deck of from is um, he said that there was only one major distributor, so um, just keep that in mind if you're having trouble finding all this stuff. So, uh, what's the trading? What's the Final Fantasy trading card game? How to read a card? How to play a card? Abilities? Attacking? Uh, field zones? Flow of the game? Yada yada yada. Partridge in a pear tree. So yeah, we got all your rule stuff. And EX burst. Yeah, sort of like a shield trigger if you play Duel Masters, a Kaiju Duel, or whatever it's called. Um, okay, well, let's see what kind of cards we have. Now, someone told me that these cards are not um, paper or cardboard, but they're plastic. So I am looking to see if that's true. And, uh, ooh, there is a little snag tap there. Maybe, maybe, possibly, possibly. It's stitch. there on that particular one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward this because I am exceedingly non-dexterous at getting snag tabs open. So just a moment here. Okay, that took a lot longer or a lot less, a lot less time than it should have, depending on your point of view. Um, wow. These cards are, well, they're kind of stuck together. So let me go ahead and flip that like there we go there and hopefully this uh, table music doesn't move around too much here these do feel kind of wow I mean there's a sort of a, a raised not a, there's a raised texture Final Fantasy but you know it's like a like a um, you know those uh, sleeves that you use uh, what are they called uh, dip, 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 dip. I can't recall they have the slightly um, you know bump texture or whatnot on them um, but these cards yes they do feel like they are not entirely cardboard, which is interesting, which is interesting. Maki, oh, let's go from the top here, oh, you got two lightning, three lightnings, Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh, what is that, Excalibur, Noel, um, this is from Final Fantasy uh, 13 too. okay, yes, I have not played or s seen much of Final Fantasy 10 2 or 10 3 or 10 4 or 10 10. Um, or 13-2, or 13-3, and 13-10, you, you know what I mean. Um, Rigdea, from 13, okay. Odin, choose one four, it'll cost four or less, break it. Eh. We'll have to break dancing in here. Um, uh, when Sage enters the field, choose one character card you break, so out to your hand. Oh, okay, so you can get some stuff back. Um, and as I recall here, let's go through the cards first. Uh, Dragoon Sid, from... 13. Uh, Jill Nabot. Nabot. Uh, let's see here. Snow. As opposed to rain. Um, there's Sarah. Mog. When Mog 13.2 enters the field, you may search for one category 13 forward and add it to your hand. Um, Bard. Shiva. Summoner. Uh, we do Dark Knight. Uh, oh. So, as I recall from this particular game here, um, uh, it's one of those resource-based games. What you do is that you play things called backups, which are like this. Let's say that, let's go for the Sage here. That's a backup. And what is? These are basically your lands for the game. And in order to play cards, of course, the cost is in the upper left. And corner of it, um, what you do is you'll either, you'll, I guess well, the term is dull, or tap basically, um, uh, these backups, and they provide one at one crystal point equal to their, basically their color there, and then in order to play a particular card you need uh, that many uh, crystal points, but at least one of them must be that particular color, so for lightning you need to pay six. Uh, at least one must be purple, and I believe purple is 
electrical or maybe even lightning. Um, however, you can also discard cards from your hand, and what will happen is that if you discard a card from your hand, it will produce two crystal points of that particular element, so if you discarded the summoner, it would produce two. So uh, you can go through your hand kind of quickly in this particular game. Oh, it's a purple-blue deck. Um, but the, I guess the uh, benefit is you get to draw two cards a turn instead of just one. So, and there are ultra rares and sorts of all sorts of other rares here, I guess, in this particular game. So, um, starter deck looks to be well has multiple of the same cards. So I guess you can, I guess it can be, can be kind of competitive. I don't know. I haven't played the game just yet. All I've done is run through some you know decks and. You, uh, for the Japanese one many, many years ago, so this is the first time I'm actually even setting hands on any cards. I don't have any of the Japanese ones. So what I'm going to do this. This was the starter set, so I'm just going to go put this bad buddy aside. And then, because what I've got here is a box of cards. And some packs. I bought most of a box. I I believe there are 36 packs in the box, and I bought 30 of them because someone had already bought the other six. Um, so what I'll do is that uh, we're going to go ahead and open these up as well. So let's take a look what's in here first. Well, see, your final the trading card game, Opus 1. So okay, so we got the basic set here. 36 packs per box, but I only have 30. Um, so you got common, rare, hero, legend, and premium cards. 216, which means that this... Uh, using my meager math skills, this probably adds up to somewhere around 216, so this means that uh, it's like Magic the Gathering where every particular card has a foil version, maybe, something like that. Uh, each pack contains 12 cards, randomly taken from a total of 186 cards, plus 216 premium cards. This box does not include any rulebook. A pack might contain two identical cards. Hmm, inquiries about this product. And like I said, it's sort of lackluster packaging, English edition, because people who can't read English won't be able to play it. Um, except for it's in Japanese right there. Anyway, so let's go open up this box here. Oh, okay. So at the same time that I bought this, I also bought an Arkham Horror uh, Black Stars Rise Mythos Pack, which was probably the new one at the time. So um, we're not going to open that. We're going to put that over here. So we've got packs. We've got packs. Let's put this box down here. And we've got, once again, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten. So we've got 30 packs here. So let's see if, so what I'm going to do is that if you haven't seen one of my videos before, um, what I do is that I go through and make, make sure that I push the cards down because I like to use scissors to cut open the packs. And the reason being is that once you cut them, um, especially if you're in a card store and you borrow a pair of scissors and you open up the pack that way, whatever cards you have, you can slide them back in. And then if you need to put them in your pocket, you know, whatever it may be, then um, make sure that your cards don't get, uh, you know, uh, damaged or anything like that. So once again, what I'm doing is that with this, I'm pushing the cards down far enough that way I can cut the top of the pack here without damaging any of the cards. So if you'll excuse me for just a moment, I'll take care of that. Stacks of packs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open these up and I don't know what I'm shooting for because I do not know what's in the set. And I don't know what the distribution is. For example, you know, getting, you know, ultra rares and, you know, so many different packs or whatever. Maybe uh, I'm just going to see what the heck's going on here. I don't think there's anything in particular. Um, while I've played through a lot of Final Fantasy games, um, I don't know if I have a favorite character or anything like that. Well, a lot of people like Final Fantasy VII as their favorite RPG or Final Fantasy of all time. I personally like Final Fantasy VI. Um, but uh, I think I was, what's, what was her name? Uh, Yura? I can't recall. I can't recall her name. The Summoner from Final Fantasy X. I get the Gunner version of her. That would be pretty neat. So uh, let's go ahead and find out what's going on. Summoner. Ooh, it looks like. Ooh, there's something shiny there. Something shiny. 
Um, Zolbog. Uh, Black Belt, Evoker. Ugo. Draw two cards and discard one card from your hand. And I got an Ifrit. This and an Enna Cross. These are rare, and this one is a. This is a common, so this must be the premium one. And then two rares. And then this is a rare. And then this is an H. What the heck is an H? Probably hero? Heroic? What was it? What they called it? Called it a hero card. So commons, rares, heroes, legend, and premium. So we got that. There was our hero card. Um, these were our rare ones. Well, hero card, rare ones, and then that's the premium card, and the rest of these look like they're commons. Yes. So what we'll do is we'll just you know, stick these side like so. Uh, let's do it this way, kind of, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Um, ooh, and there's another shiny thing. I guess everything has a premium card. Maybe not. We'll find out. Evoker, Shamanir, Velia. She was from Tactics, yes, as I recall. Um, Sid. Knight. And then, well, I guess we see Ranger. Oh, and then we have a we have a lightning. And this is a rare. Okay, so this is a premium rare. Now, I don't know if this is the same one we just had in the Star deck. Since I just have it over here, no, it is not the same one. Um, and then we have rare and rare and rare, and we have our hero and Layla is from Final Fantasy II, most maligned of all Final Fantasies. What they should just do is just redo the whole game with the current system instead of that bloody beat me to a pulp until I get my hit points raised up. Um, but that's besides the point. Um, Delita, yes, from Delita and Ramza in the same pack, right next to each other. That is, that is an evil portent. Um, the free. So yes, we have the common one, and we have the premium one. Okay, so yeah, it is like we thought. Black Mage, Dark Knight, Dancer, Cloud of Darkness. This is our premium one. This is a pre premium hero. And uh, we got another and a cross, another Waka, Ooh, a Laguna, and then we got a, a legend rare. So the let me put these in the right place first. Um, the all of the rarities are basically just standard cards. I mean, you know how most cards card games nowadays the the super rares and up tend to be all, foil all the time. These look like they're just they can be regular cards. So let's go ahead and continue on. And let's see here, Chaka Bo Tiva. Ketoshi or Kate Sith. Of course, I translated that incorrect. Well, you know, from the original game and whatnot. Ketoshi, but besides the point. Evoker, Black Belt, Shiva, and her butt showing. <laughs> Never mind. Tama. Tama is from what? World of Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah, that, that, that one where you wear all the hats and everything, right? Or put the things on your head, something like that. Let's see here. Ooh, and I got a Nora. And it's. There's a line across there, or whatever it is. Anyway, and Nora is from Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, Shiva, and then a Warrior Olight, and then, oh, then we got the non-hollow version of Lightning, and then Hero is Chaos. Okay, yeah, um, there are a couple of different elements. Was it red, black, blue, yellow? No, that's, that's Power Rangers. Um, you know, there's fire, water, ice, earth, lightning, and a couple other things here. There are two other ones. There's light and darkness, and uh, they have their own special little rules or whatnot. So, um, well, anyway, this one's from Dissidia. So that's going to be a hero rare. And these are just regular rares. Mm, Geomancer, white mage, Summoner, chemist. Alma. Red Mage. I remember in the first Final Fantasy I tried beating the game with four Red Mages. Yeah, I don't think I did. I think I probably gave up halfway through it. Uh, Chocobo and the Emperor. Emperor. What's that guy from 40k doing in here? Um, and this is a, a hollow hero. Uh, premium hero rare. 
Kachi, Kate Set, pardon me, Vincent, Titus, and Riku is our hero rare. Fairy, Cloud, Thief, Geomancer, Chocobo Chick. I'm a female though. Um, oh, that's the one that rides on what's his name's head? I can't remember his name. Monk. Uh, Red 13? 13, yes. And Garland is our premium card. There's Hecatonk here. I'm saying that incorrectly, I know. Um,. Do one backup cost three or more and break it. One backup cost three or more. Uh, that's just a backup. Uh, Nora? Nora? Oh, no, no. Huge. It's rare. And it's another rare. And then Minwu is our hero rare. Forge you control don't receive damage that is less than their power. Okay, well. Go and see what else is in here. Monk, Viking, Evoker, Scholar, Zalvog, another Dragoon, Dark Knight, you're from, not from the DS version of Final Fantasy and then Piro, oh, premium one is Golbez, Golbez put, the field, was put from the field into the break zone, you may search for up to four forwards that cost two each of a different element and play them onto the field, their auto abilities will not trigger, and he, well he is certainly a lightning one, so I guess, Electrical, thunder, whatever, maybe. Um, Odin, Galbrandt. He's from, uh, he's from the city. But then again, he isn't he from Final Fantasy XII? Another game. I do have a PlayStation Two, but I have the um, the limited edition one, the collector's edition, whatever. Still wrapped in like its little steel case, and I have not opened it to play it. Um, Agrius and Maria. Maria, depending on your pronunciation. Mm. So, Archer, Knight, Sage, Kamari, or Kimari, pardon me. Chemist, Devout, Magus, and then our, we got a, got a premium sa samurai. Ah, uh, Fang, Seymour. <laughs> and when we talked about butts a little earlier, and never mind. Um, when Seymour enters the field, choose one four to cost three or less. Break it. Uh, Aerith. Uh, everyone loves Aerith. Um, and Cecil. B. DeMille. He is going to be, when you receive damage, choose one four to point of control and deal 5,000 damage to it. Uh, this is Earth, I guess. And the other one's, what, nature or something like that. There's the hero. Fire, Geomancer, from Black Mage, Time Mage, Titan, Dark Knight, and Gilgamesh is our premium. And I'm getting a lot of these lightning cards, so we're electric, you know, you know purple. I'll call it purple. Why don't we just call it purple? I'm going to be getting a lot of these purple ones. Maybe I should do that, you know, boost the starter deck that I got or whatnot. I don't know what the other color I'm getting is. So what is it? A lot of it is going to be like red or something? Well, I'll take a look later. Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh morphing time. To the end of the turn, Gilgamesh doubles the power and gains first strike and brave. And there's a lot of abilities that I have no idea what they are. Oh, there's Zack. There's Zack. There's another game. I don't think I completed um, Crisis Core. I just got bored of it. Um, Zack. There's Lulu. Ah, uh, there's Lulu. I love Lulu. What a Lulu. Ah, uh, Bunny and Knight. Oh. It's going to be a rare, rare. And if you will choose one backup, you control, activate it. And then our hero rare is Kane. Again, there's a field, choose one forward. It loses 5,000 power until the end of the turn. Dragoon's Pride. Choose one forward, break it. Kane will not activate during your next active phase. That was a hero rare, right? Yes. Thief. Orgath. Ninja, Chemist, Black Belt, Monk, there's another red 13, and Vincent is our premium. And we got another Lightning, Rare, Seraphie, Rare, Leviathan, and what is going to be our hero? It's going to be Q 
Hikimari. Let's see here, Summoner, Cloud, Thief, Chocobo Chick, Thief, Dragoon, Dark Knight, and Agrius is our premium card. Uh, <laughs> Mustiato, I just, uh, first bow with there, I thought I said Mustard Ardo. Um, anyway, yeah. On other tactics. Uh, Cecil, Nora again, and X Death. Because everyone likes X Death. Wait a minute, yes. Oh, yes, we're going to go there. Um, any card put in the damage zone, dude, X Death cannot use its EX burst. The hero rare, right? Yes. So all of them look like they come with a hero rare. And that premium card is always going to be um, a hollow version of another card in the set. Uh, Geomancer, White Mage, Golem, Amist, Alma, Bard, Chocobo, ooh, and a Premium Onion Knight. I do Earth, because I kind of like the Onion Knight, but that's the Onion Knight Ninja. Let's see here. Oh, here's going to be Hades. Do you afford one backup opponent by opponent controls? Dull the four to return the backup of its owner's hand. Your opponent discards one. Wow. Ooh, for five. Summon, which summons are basically equivalent, I guess, like, are, are the equivalent of, like, sorceries or whatever it is. Play during your turn unless it has the EX burst thing that you can play it immediately um, if it's put into your damage stack or whatever the heck it is. Choose one for it. Oh, yeah, I already did that. Um, Libro. That's the card that I want to get. I wonder if that, that mechanic girl from the from the Final Fantasy, was it 15? Yeah, I think, I think I'd like to get her. Uh, choose one for it. Of course. Four or less, break it. And then our hero rare is a Golbez. So, didn't we just get a premium Golbez in here, as I recall? Yes, we did. Okay, Chocobo, Tifa, Ramu, Shiva, Gollum, Red Mage, Bard, and Zack is our premium. Did we just get a regular zone. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, Zach's trying to get away. Uh, Yag, Rosh, Terra, another Nora, and Kefka. Kefka, what does he do here? Uh, the backup, choose one forward, you control against plus 5,000 power to the end of the turn. At the end of the turn, break it. Just a Joker wannabe. Or it's Batman when you need him. I think that'd be Cecil. Um, but then again, that was, those are two different games. Uh, Monk, Viking, Evoker, Scholar, Zalbog, Mughal, Archer, and Premium is going to be... Ah, yes, a Premium Lulu. What does she do here? Put one back up into the break zone, choose one forward, do five, deal at 5,000 damage. Thundaga, choose a forward, deal 10,000 damage to it. Let's see, Duke Larg, Runehilder, Riku, and our hero rare is Kuja. Hey, Kuja. Final Fantasy IX, right? Yeah, he's from Final Fantasy IX, I think. Originally. Um, I did not complete Final Fantasy IX because my PlayStation 1 died around the time that I got about three quarters of the way through the game. Should set aside some time to go play that again before I die. Uh, Mystic, Devout, Arga, Black Belt, Black Mage, Dark Knight, Archer, and a Dragoon as the premium. There's another Cecil B. DeMille. Oh, that's Squall. Ooh, Furion! Oh, and he gets lots of, he gets a lot of different abilities. Final Fantasy V? What? No, it's Final Fantasy II originally. I know there's the Dissidia art, but um, I think he is from II? Oh, well, whatever. And then my hero rare is Gordon. Gordon. I don't even recall him from Final Fantasy II. It shows you how much I played it. Ninja, Ifri, Geomancer, Black Mage, Dark Knight, Oh, Dancer, and we got a Yuna. We got a Yuna. Premium Yuna. Uh, what does she do here? When Yuna enters the field, choose one forward, return to its owner's hand. If a character is put from the field into the break zone, you may remove it from the game instead. Libro. Odin. There's another Yuffie. Then... Laguna! Laguna 
uh, is our hero rare. Or legendary rare, pardon me. See, I don't know which. Let's see here. I've been saying they've been hero rares, but let's see. Laguna's a legend. Goldbeth is a legend. Zidane is a legend. Magus Bard, O Ovelia, Summoner, Sid, Knight, Ranger, Hades is our premium. Oh, uh, the Sage Onion, you want to under the field, choose one damaged forward, deal at 5,000 damage. Hmm. And you got Barret, or Barret, <laughs> never mind. Bart's, no, no, he was from Final Fantasy V. Oh, but this is from the this, this picture from the Dissidia Arcade, and then our our Kira Rarus, the guy from from Warhammer Forty Thousand. Summoner Mystic Devout, Red Mage Aerith, Samurai Evoker, and Sid Reigns. And what is he from again? Now oh, he's from the third. He's from thirteen. Delita Vaughn. That's from. Isn't this technically from. It says Dissidia 12, Duodecim, the sequel to Dissidia, but isn't he the one from Final Fantasy 12? Then it was in the DS, whatever. Uh, we're on. And Lulu is our hero rare. Yay! Mystic, Devout, Archer, Aerith, Sage, Samurai, Evoker, and oh, we got another, we got a different Yuna. What's the, what's the S anyway? I can play tricks, because you know what? My mind tends to play tricks on me here. So I keep chopping up parts of the cards, not cards, but the packs, I can't see the back of it. Uh, I have no idea what the S is. Common, rare, hero, legend, premium. What the hell is an S? What the hell is an S? Oh well, I have to go look it up. Um, rare. Oh, I see Sarah, Gado, Ramza, and Prish. Prish, per, per, uh, uh, the aberrant or abhorrent one. That's all the Summoner, Magus, Sid, Black Mage, Summoner, Ranger, Red Mage, Evoker is our premium. There's another Ramza, Amadar, was from 13. Uh, Yuna, there's a regular Yuna, but she's rare. And our next one is Garland, who is just a hero rare. Knight, Delita, Ramza. This is an evil portent right here. Both of them are here. This is an evil portent. I'm warning you people at home. You have to understand this is not a good sign. Um, Kimari. Chemist. Devout. Magus. And a dancer as our premium. Now there's another Amadar. There's another Yuna. There's a Hades. And then what? Guy. Guy speak beaver, right? Yes. As I recall. Um, Geomancer, Geoman... Two Geomancers. Uh, Gilgamesh, Knight, Evoker, Red 13, Dragon, Tama as our premium. That is just a cook. Rain? Who is that? World of Final Fantasy? Okay. I guess she's... I guess she's... Aw. Oh, she's kind of adorable, I guess. Um, okay, she's sporting some Witchblade action there. Um, Gilgamesh. Mustardio again. <laughs> I was going to call him Mustardio. And Saz. That's what I thought his name was, Saz. Um, he's a hero rare. There's Yuffie, Summoner, Magus, Summoner, Gollum, Red Mage, Bard. Magus is our premium card. Duke Larg, Brunhilder, Sylph, and Terra. She's from the Dissidia, but she's from Final Fantasy VI. 
Cost the cost required for your opponent to cast summons increases by one. Terror cannot be chosen by opponents of summons. Trance till the end of the turn. Terror gets plus three power at first strike because she dances to the music. Argoth, Ninja, Gilgamesh, Chemist, Black Belt, Moogle, Archer. And there's a premium Kuja. Nuge. Nuge is a noob. Um, dodge. If you control, it cannot be. Ch if you control, it cannot be chosen by your opponent's summons or villain. Hoop. And this is from Final Fantasy Thirteen. Yeah, that's right, Thirteen. And Aron is our hero rare. So, it's amazing that you get like at least two rares out of a pack. Uh, Monk, Viking, Kate Sith, Sage, Samurai, Evoker, Furion. Yeah, Final Fantasy II, that's right. Um, he is our premium he, premium hero. Uh, Warrior of Light. Sephiroth. Oh, jeez. Um, another Zach. And then... Orlando. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, well, Lindu, he's our hero rare. So, got a couple of packs left. Uh, Yushi, Ninja, White Mage, Titan, White Mage, Mime, Square. Thief is our premium. Another Rain, Gilgamesh, Sylph, and then uh, another Yuna. She's our hero rare. And this is the. Summoner, Archer, Red Mage, Alma, Aerith, Tama, talk about, and, oh, Vanilla. And she is a, she's just, oh, she is a premium hero rare. Aron, Duke, Goltana, oh, and who, what are, and it's going to be Joseph. He's a hero rare. Okay. Joker, Summoner, Yuffie, Shiva, <laughs> sorry, Ovelia, Tama, Knight, and Noel is our premium. Where's, what the heck is it? An ass. It's going to drive me crazy. What I'm going to do is, <coughs> pardon me, I'm going to go through and editing this video. I'm going to find out exactly what the S is. I'm going to put it down there at the bottom of like the screen or whatnot. That way everyone can know just in case. I don't know, and you probably know when you're watching this video right now, but if you don't know, you and I are both going to find out at the same time. Um, let's see here. That's our premium. Rare. Rare. <coughs> Pardon me again. And then Cloud of Darkness is our hero rare. A fairy Summoner Scholar Zelda Black Belt Moogle. Monk and a ninja is our premium. Squall, Furion, Alexander, and Leon is our hero rare. <coughs> Pardon me, there must be some dust in the air or whatnot. Last pack, last pack. Let's see what we get here. Chocobel. Keep up. Okay. Sith, Evoker, Dragoon, Dark Knight. Bard. Oh. Okay, like so Vincent, Hope, and then Cloud. Cloud had to be in the last package, didn't you? It would have been nice to have had like another Lulu or something like that. Um, he's brave. Meteor Rain. Do 4,000 damage to all fours of opponent control. On the slash, choose one forward and break it. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look here to see how many legend rares and how many hero oh, rares we get out of these packs here. So if you give me a moment here, I'll find out. Okay, I've got 30 packs here. I'm, so once again, I have 30 packs. Um, and well, this should be. It looks like there are at least. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. So about every six packs. You should get 
a legendary, or, you know, a legend rarity card. The rest of them you're almost guaranteed to get a heroic rare. The rares are what, three per booster pack, was it? I think it was. Minimum of three anyway, if you don't count the premium one. And then, let me see what I got for hollows when it comes to heroes and premiums. I didn't count the, the, the commons and rares in here, but it looks like I got four uh, wait a minute here. I got one legend, and I got three of these S ones here. I'm really, really. I don't know what that is. So it's probably earlier in the video, but once again, here I'm gonna have to look it up later on. Um, I got three of these S ones, one legendary one, and I'm getting like eight heroic rares at my count using my higher math here. Um, so um, I may start playing the game. Uh, it seems to be easy enough. Um, Things that right now, over at Neverland Games, there aren't a lot of trading card games that people are really playing, aside from Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh!, and then of course there is Dragon Ball Super, um, because some individuals who were, got tired of Yu-Gi-Oh! just started playing Dragon Ball, and then one player started playing the next one, the next one, and they've got a follow here, so all the more power to them. Um, for this particular game here, uh, Neverland Games got in basically one booster box just to show things, and um, I guess it was two decks, two of each of the three starter decks, so it was just a, sort of a taste of what was going on. Uh, maybe we'll get some more people interested in this. I don't know the background of it, and what I mean is the, um, like the tournament or the hobby program, does Square Enix give out demo decks that you can use to demo the game or anything like that? Honestly, I don't know. I really didn't keep up with uh, the Japanese sets or anything like that, which would have been a moot point, because it's not in the U.S. That being said, um, I wanted to play it in mid to late last year, but I didn't fully realize that uh, it was only in Europe at the time any um, English-released cards that appeared in the U.S. probably had been imported from Europe. So that's why it was so hard to get. I thought it would be like a GameStops or anything like that, but I was apparently wrong. Now it seems to be available in wide quantities in the U.S., I guess. Um, so we're just going to have to see where the game progresses. I know there are tournaments online, and, uh, or at least on YouTube. You can probably take a look at those for yourself. Um, but um, overall, it, it, it seems to be it's, it's an interesting game. It has its own interesting mechanics. And we'll just have to see if we get enough of players to play it and then have a healthy tournament, uh, competitive environment. Neverland game. So, um, we've seen all I had to offer today here. So, what I want to do is I want to thank you for joining me this morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you may be turning in. And I hope you're looking for the next video in the future. Uh, so, what I'd like you to do is um, if you like the content, please hit that like button. It gets me up off my butt to make more videos um, as well. Uh, and um, subscribing also gets my butt up out of the chair to do more odd, unique special videos just for you. So, um, one last thing I'd like you to do is check out my uh, ebook series, A Not So Healthy Dose of Chaos. You can find uh, the link to the Smashwords page and some various other areas where you can go download it. The first book is free, and you've got book two and three that are out, and I'm working on number four as we speak, which should probably be out sometime probably toward the end of March. So, once again, everyone, Thank you for taking the time out of your day to come and watch this uh, video here, and we'll see you the next time, everyone. Goodbye.